Hello, this is James Kelly with Greenlight Group, and today I will be showing you how to globally filter your probe results in UCMDB. Now this is a new feature added to UCMDB 10.20, and you could do filtering before, but you had to do it by probe or adapter. And now HP has provided a tool that allows us to um, define a filter and apply it across all our probes. So I'm going to show you how that's done. The first thing we'll want to do is go to Data Flow Management, and then Adapter Management. So this will bring up a list of all of the packages we have in UCMDB. Now we're interested in the DDMI, or sorry, DDM Infra package, and the configuration files. Now you'll notice I have a quite a few here. Um, you won't have this many if you're dealing with this for the first time but you'll be looking for the global filtering.xml. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and you'll see it's a simple XML file. Now you could edit it here, but since HP was nice, they gave us a GUI that we can use. If you right click and then go to open in frame. Now I'll give you a brief overview of the options we see here. You'll see an include folder and an exclude folder. Now, exclude is pretty self-explanatory. If a CI matches a filter in exclude, then that CI will be removed from your probe results. Include is just the opposite. If a CI matches a filter in include, then it's included in your probe results and everything else is excluded. Over here we have activate, which is basically whether global filtering is turned on or off. And then we have recursive filters. Uh, if we hover over this question mark, it says apply filters to linked CIs. So basically what this means is if recursive filters is off or no is selected, then only CIs that match a filter will be filtered. If yes is selected, then not only will those CIs be selected, or sorry, filtered, but also the CIs that are contained by those filtered CIs and any relationships those CIs have will be filtered. Now, I'll show you how to set up a filter here. Uh, let's say we wanted to exclude all workstations from our probe results that had an OS type of Windows 7. So first thing we would want to do is select exclude. Um, since we're excluding a very specific thing. Next, we would want to uh, select a CI type. Now, since we're looking for workstations, we want the node CI. Alright. Uh, now, if we left the filter just like this, we would be filtering all nodes from our probe results, which isn't what we want to do. So we're going to add a attribute that we can filter by as well. So it brings up our select an attribute, and it has a list of all the attributes in Node here. Now, since we're filtering by OS, we want discovered OS name. And then it'll tell us the display label and the type and it's a string, so we're good here. All right, now in our attribute editor, we have operator and value. For most cases, the only operator you will have is regular expression. Um, if you're using IP address and name, then you will also have this range between operator that you can use. Uh, like I said, for most cases, you will just have the regular expression. Now, we said we wanted to exclude anything with a Windows 7 OS. So we will just type in Windows 7 here. As the operator implies, it does support regular expression, but for simplicity's sake, I will keep it to a straight string. And then you hit, and then we'll hit OK. All right, and you can see it updated our XML here. Now, um, with that updated, all nodes with a Windows 7 OS, or actually, with discovered OS name equal to Windows 7, will be excluded from our probe results. And that's really all there is to it. So if you have any questions, 
feel free to contact me at james at greenlightgroup.com or you can visit Greenlight Group's website at www.greenlightgroup.com. Thank you for watching.